I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who commented on my um, should I stay or should I go video. I really appreciate uh, all the comments. Um, it's good to know that other people are thinking about this kind of thing and uh, or have gone through this and have dealt with um, these kind of issues. Uh, but it, it sounds like that uh, the majority of people um, are saying stick with 249 for now. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and stick with 249 and um, at least until the compositing stage and then maybe think about going to 2.5. But um, I'll continue playing with 2.5 and uh, hopefully learn a thing or two <laughs> by the time I'm done with this particular project. But one thing I did want to do is, um, in all the time I was trying to research um, whether I should switch to 2.5, I went over a few. I went. Um, I went over a few things to try and figure out if it would work in 2.5, like character rigs, which obviously from the last video didn't work very well. Another thing that I needed to do is link scenes and um, what uh, I do in uh, 249 is if I need to link a scene I go to you know append or link link relative paths and then I go find um, a set scene that I've put together um, under scenes I've got one here called Laundromat, and I can link to that uh, s set, and then in the render panels, this little thing, as I've said in my in a previous video, called No Set Scene. If you pull that out, you've got the linked set here, and you can click on it and bring in your linked. Uh, set. And the good thing about this is that um, if I make any changes to say a washing machine object or a ceiling fan object or whatever, um, it will then, pr that change will propagate to um, all the uh, shot files that are linked to that, to that, to that object, to this scene and therefore that object. So any change I make propagates to every shot I've done, which is a good thing, because if I want to change the color of uh, a washing machine or change a character's hair or whatever, I do the change once and then it, it, it updates it in all, the, in all the shots. But the problem is, is I couldn't find this in Blender 2.5. So uh, I posted on forums, and I asked questions, and I googled a lot, and I tried and tried to find how to do this in 2.5. So what I finally ended up doing was emailing Roland Hess. I don't know if you know him. He's the author of the Animating with Blender book and the editor of the um, Essential Blender book so he knows a bit <laughs> about Blender. Um, so what I discovered is well I emailed him and um, he was nice enough to email back just that evening. Um, so what I discovered here let me bring up um, uh, the laundromat set in 2.5 and what he told me is that I was looking for I was looking under the render panel and looking for a set scene but what he l told me is that you go into the scene panel and there's a little feature called uh, background and if you click on the little icon it'll bring up a pull down list and will list the scenes that you've um, linked to the file here. And if I click on laundromat, 
theoretically it should come up. Um, so anyway, that's uh, here it comes. It takes a while. There it is. So that's the something I learned um, in 2.5. Um, hopefully that'll be useful <laughs> for somebody. But I'm not going to uh, worry about it at this point in time. I'm going to stick with two, 249. And uh, thanks again for all the comments and the help. Take care. Bye.